Hey guys, what's up? It's Xsuperist here, and today I'll be reacting to episode 9 of Kimi Toboku. Previous episode was really funny, I really liked it. It's probably the funniest episode of the season so far. There are five more episodes though, so we'll see what happens in those five episodes. For this one, it's going to be just a continuation, I think, from the previous one, so what are we waiting for? Let's get on with it. Hey guys, before we continue with the reaction, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new uploads. And with that, let's go back to the reaction. <laughs> oh. Wait, so Kaname is both a class representative and a member of the student council. It's too much responsibility on his shoulders. That was the weirdest greeting, though. あ、だよ。ちょっと変わった喫茶店をやるんです。そう。店員は衣装を男女逆に着て。Of course. 男女逆。Of course. And she's going to be like the main star of the whole thing. <laughs> he seems so tired and exhausted already. Although that's very understandable because he's both the class representative and a member of the student council. And that's a lot of responsibilities on his shoulders. Okay, so we're going to have the cultural festival arc. So everybody's just going to have some kind of montage right preparing for the cultural festival Oh, too much pressure. Oh, you know, I never really pegged Kaname to be a pushover a bit, but... あ、まだ借りてねえのかよ。早くしねえとお金クラスに取られんぞ。ああ、いいわ、いい。で、どうやんのあ、まあ、ガシ。This is going to be so difficult later on. He's gonna implode at some point. You know, I don't get why he's taking on all of these roles or whether he's just... By default, he's taking on all these roles because nobody else is doing them. But seriously, I never really thought that uh, Kaname is going to be like a pushover who'll just shoulder all of the burdens of everybody else i mean it's understandable because he's pretty reliable and credible and you know he's competent and that's why people rely on him but taking on all of these tasks upon himself there's only he only has one body and i don't think he can do all of he's spread he's going to be spreading himself way too thinly at the end of this and i i don't i don't think it's going to end well for him I actually thought they were all in the same class, but apparently they're in different classes. And everybody, even though everybody is busy, these two still found the time to actually play around. <clears throat> yeah, they have too much time, free time on their hands. Nothing, nothing. Where is the drama school? Ah, 
ちょうどお借りしたい資料があるのでラジャースではエコトレイン出発しまーす<笑><笑>The teacher is also pretty lax. Azuma sensei is just, I think, really cool, really chill. <laughs> yeah, it's very surprising. He's, yeah, exactly. He's pretty handsome. And pretty, looks like he's very competent. <laughs> yeah, because he's just way too chill. I don't think he'll be able to, to handle that. <laughs> right there. <laughs> right on time. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're gonna get in. They're, they're gonna be in him for it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think Kanami's was a bit too partial there, a little bit biased. Just, uh, uh, just on Tachibana. Eh, he is though. He's taking a lot of responsibility, which should be designated and delegated to other people who just don't want to do it for some reason. That's so annoying though. <laughs> Shun is Alice. <laughs> okay, Kaname is definitely the the red queen. And the Cheshire cat. Probably Tachibana, right? Okay. Okay, no. <laughs> he put it on the wrong side. Yeah, it's going to just be blank. That's the proper way of doing it. And they're watching him. But they didn't watch him closely enough. A wrong orientation in this time. Nah. <laughs> oh, that's a waste of paper. Technically, you can't. 
You can probably cancel it, but it's still going to be wasting eight how many ever pieces of paper that would be. That's not it. <laughs> they just don't know how to make it work. It's just, you know, try getting the right way of operating it. There. There we go. お前らも天才だけどな。アホ。あ、朝田君たちさ、今ね、教室で当日どの係をやりたいか希望を出してもらってるんだけど。ウィ、今行きます。わ、疲れ先輩。いいところに先輩。マイガッシュ。当日家
もう2人とも勝手な言い合いしないでください僕この下ジャージ履いてますからだったらなおさら見せたって問題ねえ<笑><笑>いい加減に見せろってよ<笑>ダメです<笑>いい加減観念しハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハこの目拡大コピーってできるあ ?More favors.More requests. 対に拡大コピーしろって大技要求されて困ってたんだ。花目やってよ。お前怒られた直後によく頼み事できねえな。<笑>まあいいぜ。Why is he still saying yes? お前の頼みとありゃ。ちょっと来てくれよ。なんかやべえことになっちゃってさ。あおうコピー後でいいか。ちょっとああはいはいスカーラーこっちこっち急いでああ He seems so out of energy at this point so drained and lifeless and just very exhausted and I can understand that because he's taking all of these responsibilities on his shoulders and one human being can only take so much And he's just a high school student. I mean, even for someone like me who's older than him, I, I wouldn't do that to myself. I don't have enough stamina, I don't have enough energy or brain power to actually take on all of these burdens upon myself. But I can empathize with him though. I've found myself in this kind of position before as well. And that's why I've learned my lesson. But I guess in this case, he has to learn it the hard way. Yeah, he forgot to get blackout curtains for their haunted house. And apparently, there's none left. Yep, see, this is what happens. You lose track of everything in the end. He can, though. He was doing a lot of other things. Oh my gosh. Azuma sensei to the rescue. You have our hero. This is why Kaname looks up to him. Because he's just so cool of a teacher. You know, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't say father figure, but somebody, like an authority figure, who's really cool and dependable. スカーラーあんまくってどうなったあああ借りた借りたおおマジでセンキューだあいや exactly don't make them don't make other people do what you are supposed to be doing shut up bro shut up <laughs> shut up bro ah チェンちゃんチェンちゃんこのメッチどったああそっ <laughs> That's too much. He's way too biased against Tachibana. <laughs> <laughs> to 当日お前が一人でひょっとこどりをするライブ生徒会の力でパンフレットに組み込んでやっからよえー、えー、そんなあ<笑>花目それ完璧食券乱用だよね足りねえだ
権力は使ってなんぼだ。しゅんちゃん、これ違う。危ないですよ、千鶴くん。Well, to be honest, he should be. He shouldn't, he shouldn't be abusing his power, but at the very least, he should be using it properly to be able to delegate and instruct other people to do what they are supposed to do, right? They need to learn how to be responsible on their own as well and not just rely on Taname. But then again, I don't know how high schools, especially in Japan, are like, or if this is, if this is a,、uh, an actual rep reflection or representation of. How things are done there. And so that was episode 9 of Kimito Boku. And there are only just a few things that I wanted to say,、uh, other than what I've already said. The first thing is, I get where Kaname is probably coming from. He likes it when people depend on him. There are some people who are, who find fulfillment or satisfaction in being able to help out others and being able to know that they are useful. And that they can help out people and that they can, you know, kind of ease whatever troubles they may be having. But in the case of Kaname, that's just, that's just making him completely spent. I mean, you can probably take on a few tasks and responsibilities, but delegate the rest to other people and make sure that they're doing it. That's all he needs to do. He just needs to manage them properly and make sure that they're working at it. And you know, you just oversee it, supervise. You don't have to do take on their tasks as well if they can't do it, just give it to somebody else who will be able to do it. So that's the first thing, right? They need to take responsibility, and Kaname needs to say no and be firm with it. He needs to let them learn their lesson, or at the very least, take responsibility. Even though he feels like maybe, you know, maybe he feels good about it. He feels good being useful to somebody else, or I don't know. I don't think he's power hungry. That's just my feeling. And I guess the next thing is yeah,、uh, it's really nice to be able to have someone you can also depend on. And that's why I really love Azuma Sensei here. He's kind of like the unsung hero working in the background, supporting the students. And particularly Kaname. And I really like that kind of relationship they have, even though I'm not really particularly sure whether it's just kind of like a senpai kohai thing or, you know, like just Kaname looks up to him as a hero of some sort or it's just somebody to aspire toward or somebody to emulate, right? So, like a. a Maybe Kaname looks at Azuma Sensei as a role model. Just from the previous episode where we had the flashback back when they were in kindergarten. Maybe he still looks up to him like that. And yeah, I just really like that bond, I guess, that they have with each other. I don't know if、Ka、Azuma Sensei actually remembers Kaname from way back when, because there was that one episode where he was wondering how did those kids turn out. Uh, when in fact, one of the kids that he was,、uh, one of the kids who was in the kindergarten and with whom he talked was right in front of him. So, yeah. But anyway, yeah. Azuma Sensei is cool. I like him. Kaname needs to chill out more, is what I,、uh, what, is what I will say. Anyway, thank you guys for watching.、Uh, see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. Click here to subscribe and check out these two videos for more fun content. See you in the next one.